global guide to topless and nude sunbathing. CNN for true aficionados, aficionados of nude relaxation, there are no parts of the body where the sun don't shine, and with appropriate protection, a liberal layer of sunscreen face mask where required. There are plenty of places around the world where it's safe and legal to shed the burden of clothing and offer your skin up to some delicious warming rays. UK swim swimwear brand Poor Moy has created a new map revealing, uh, revealing the 39 countries that permit topless and nude sunbathing and uh, 38 countries where it's uh, too risky. The team spent weeks uh, researching the individual laws of countries and close referencing them with the travel forums, the blogs, and social media posts. The resulting map categorized the countries into four colors, green, red, amber, and gray. Europe is the continent that most embraced stripping off with the green-lit lands of Austria, Bulgaria, Croatia, Denmark, and Germany being some of the many countries where you can easily find the beaches that welcomes birthday suit. Even in the buttoned down UK, topless sunbathing is completely legal if done discreetly. Countries colored rather once where public nudity of any kinds is completely unacceptable or illegal. Think Think twice before throwing your scanties to the wind in Morocco, Granada, Bahrain, or Belarus. You'd better throw some swimwear into your suitcase before traveling to any of the 29 amber countries where laws might be amb ambiguous or there are very few locations where you can safely unleash your jiggly feet. These places such as Tunisia where topless sunbathing is sometimes okay in private hotels but not generally acceptable on public beaches will require you undertaking a bit more research before disrobing. Countries colored gray are those where uh, wasn't enough information for Paul Moy to make a categorization. So keep your assets tucked away there too. Paul Moy has also created a dedicated map for the United States. Keep tops on in Tennessee on dice on in Indiana, tatas covered in Utah, and don't let things uh, fall south in South Carolina. Public nudity laws uh, can become confused with the rules surrounding naked sunbathing, with many countries saying public nudity is illegal, but they are actually okay with the topless, topless sunbathing, says Pulmoy. For most nations, the intention to offend is the main thing that differentiates trying to catch some vitamin D without tan lines versus uh, summer streaking or flashing. The swim warmer specialist also drug I dug into what the world has been googling during those long months in lockdown. It reports that there were over 10.7 million searches made globally in the last 12 months for nude beaches, nude resort, and sunbath nude. As those are English terms, the resort naturally screwed toward English-speaking countries. 
the majority of those searches were made by the United States, Japan, and Brazil. But when population sizes accounted for the nations most hungry for nude beach content are Australia, New Zealand, and Ireland. Full more re re reports that topless sunbathing is legal in greenlit Australia and that there are plenty of dedicated beaches where full nudity is allowed. New Zealand is an amber country with a pref preferred de designated areas for naked sunbathing. Red categorized the island. Meanwhile, there is a country where a cozy sweater and nice hooded Anorak is the year-round benchwear, bench beachwear of choice. Although it did, it did get its first official nude beach at Dublin's Hook Cliff in 2018. For a country-by-country country breakdown of rules on topless and nude sunbathing, and a closer look at those maps. Check out the blog post on Paul Moy's site.